Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. In this video, we're going over nursing exam or NCLEX style questions related to the medication aldactone. This is question number one. In health teaching to a client receiving aldactone therapy. Which of the following food selections indicates the client's understanding about his medication? A. Strawberry jam, B. Apricot, C. Bananas, or D. Fish. Okay, let's discuss this. Spironolactone is a potassium sparing drug, so the client taking it may develop a higher serum potassium level if he has persistent intake of foods that are high in potassium. Be sure that your client is not taking a potassium supplement and that he is aware of which foods are high in potassium so that he'll avoid them. A good idea might be to make or obtain a list of high potassium foods and give it to your client. And you might also facilitate a consult with your hospital's dietitian. Especially be sure to pay particular attention to the potassium level if your client has kidney problems. They are at even higher risk of developing hyperkalemia. Alert your client to immediately report any serious side effects such as slow irregular heartbeat or muscle weakness. These are signs of hyperkalemia. If not treated, very high potassium level can be fatal. Remember, when you educate your client on the dietary concerns or anything else for that matter, be sure to document this education in your patient's record. Some of you may have heard the saying, if it's not documented, then it's not done. If you ever have to be involved in a chart audit or court case, you'll learn how true this is. Hopefully that will not happen. So the correct answer here is D. Fish would be an acceptable food choice for your client. Choices A, B, and C are foods that are high in potassium and should be avoided by the clients taking spironolactone. Thanks for watching guys. We will be posting the next question very soon. Please subscribe to the channel and if you would like immediate updates you can click here so that you will be notified via email. Also if you have an exam coming up you can go to my website by clicking here and you'll see a bunch more questions related to this medication exactly. So see you in the next video. Bye!